number chapter 4, number 15, and the only thing that tells us in this problem is that we launch something and it goes three times as far as it does go high. So the picture might be something like that. So our x value, or x max, is going to be three times our height. Okay? And in class we've talked about there's this range equation, and the range equation is v naught squared and sine 2 theta over g. And I can't stress enough that we can only use this equation when we have a symmetrical case, but we do. Okay, now let's look at max height. And if you think about max height, max height is going to occur when your vertical velocity is equal to zero. So if we set our velocity equal to zero, and again I'm looking at a vertical sense, and then over here I get v naught sine theta, which represents our vertical velocity, minus gt, we can see that t at maximum height is equal to v naught sine theta over g. Well, we can figure out the max height then. So the max height is just our basic vertical equation. And we can plug in that time. So this y represents the height. We didn't, we got launched at zero. So v naught sine theta and t, well t max is v naught sine theta over g minus one half g t, that's v naught sine theta over g squared. If you look at this term, this is a v naught squared sine theta squared over g minus v naught squared sine theta squared. And this is a g and g squared is become g. All of that really together makes h equal to v naught squared sine squared theta over 2g. Because this is really 1g and this is minus a half of that. And so you get this. Okay, so really then, this is our max height. And this is our range. And so we want to go back to this original equation. x, so v naught squared sine 2 theta over g equals 3 times the max height v naught squared sine squared over 2g. So cancel, 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 and really what we're left with is if we multiply both sides by that 2, we get 2 sine 2 theta equals 3 sine squared theta, and we can do some manipulations, what we can figure out is that sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cosine theta. And so if we do then, that, then we really get 4 sine theta cosine theta equals 3 sine squared theta, which allows us to cancel one of those. We can divide and we end up getting that 4 thirds equals tangent theta, and we get theta then to equal 53 degrees. If you don't like this trig substitution because you didn't know this identity, you could just graph this and graph this and find the angle. And again, the angle ends up being 53 degrees. So that if you launch it at 53 degrees, independent of how fast you launch it, you're for sure going to get three times the range as you do the height. 